Ruth 3, 9 through 13 says, Who are you? He asked. I am your servant Ruth, she said. Spread the corner of your garment over me, since you are a kinsman redeemer. The Lord bless you, my daughter, he replied. The kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. You have not run after the younger men, whether rich or poor. And now, my daughter, do not be afraid, for I will do all you ask. All my fellow townsmen will know that you are a woman of noble character. Although this is true that I am a near kinsman, there is a kinsman redeemer nearer than I. Stay here for the night, and in the morning, if he wants to redeem, good, let him redeem. But if he's not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. Lie here until morning. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, our today's reading is Ruth 3, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, in Levitical law, there is an idea that if a person is impoverished and needs to be rescued from that impoverishment, that a kinsman or redeemer who is capable may redeem that person. Leviticus 25, 47-55. And there are several requirements that a kinsman or redeemer must fulfill prior to redeeming a person, and we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. To be successfully redeemed, a person must be willing to be redeemed. They must make a decision to accept that generosity. Ruth exhibited this willingness to be redeemed by spending the night at the feet of Boaz. Now, this was not a sexual contact. This was a way of telling Boaz that she was willing to become his wife. Now, as an application, we need to display our willingness not only to associate ourselves with God through a relationship with Jesus Christ, but after that, we also need to actively seek to remain close to him. Since we've been redeemed by him, it is our responsibility to maintain that relationship. We must spend time with him through the word, through worship, prayer, fellowship, and living out our lives in a way that demonstrates our relationship to him. Many times we say that we have an active relationship with God when in reality we really do not have one as active as it should be. It's time to change that.